Web Woman fans, it's been a while since I have uh, come to play and talk and tell and all that kind of stuff. And there are a few things that you should know. Number one, um, no, I haven't been on the bike for a while. I've been having some health issues and whatnot, which we will not go into at this time. But um, I haven't quit. I just am uh, kind of taking a little bit of a rest. Just consider this a rest stop along the way. Um, but I did want to share some things with you um, this holiday season and um, especially um, something really cool that I got as a gift. Um, uh, you know, probably one of the coolest things that you can receive from someone is something that somebody's taken a lot of thought to either purchase or to make for you. And I have kind of the best of both worlds. Last year for Christmas, I got a new color. And it has been such a blessing in my life. Um, because of the retinopathy of, due to diabetes, I don't see very well. And even with my little um, magnifying cheater glasses, um, which is all I can use right now while they're still working on my eyes, um, I can't read a regular book. This is a disaster for me because I am a bookaholic. It's one of my true vices. And um, I have to admit that even when my children were growing up, it was really hard to get anything done in the house if there was a book in the house that I hadn't read. Um, and I have loved reading ever since I figured out that I could do it back when I was four years old. Um, and it's very common for me to read a novel a week. Um, that's kind of been a pattern for me most of my life. And that's not me sitting down and reading for hours and hours because I'm a very fast reader. I can do the average novel in two or three hours if I just kind of sit straight through it. But um, I'd gotten to where I couldn't read anymore. And that was literally making me sick. Um, uh, sick at heart because reading has always been such an amazing part of my life and um, I love all kinds of books um, and pretty much I'll read anything that doesn't read me first uh, but um, I really um, was feeling a great loss and so my sister bless her heart put out the money for a nook color for me and I have to tell you, I love my Nook Color. I instantly started downloading all the free books I could find on the internet, which are generally the classics, which I um, have grown to love over the years and, and whatnot. And so I have Alice in Wonderland and the complete Wizard of Oz series and everything that Louisa May Alcott ever wrote and everything Mark Twain ever wrote and on and on through my favorite writers, including um, uh, Dickens and... Um, you know, Jane Eyre and all these really wonderful, cool, old novels. And then, of course, the occasional current novel that I actually am able to purchase and uh, enjoy as well. Um, the problem with the Nook is that um, the front of the Nook is easily smudged and potentially easily scratched. And so one of the first things I did was I took my crochet hook out and made a little crocheted envelope for my nook. Um, and so now another family member comes into the picture, my Uncle Robert, and when he found out what I was using to cover my nook, he says, that just doesn't seem like it would protect it very much. And uh, one of the things that he does that's really, really cool is he um, does leather tooling. Um, basically, that's art on leather, and he does everything from belts and knife um, sheaths and bags and all kinds of really cool things in this wonderful tool leather that he does. Um, and so he offered to make a cover for my nook. And I thought that was really cool because I knew that it would really um, keep my nook safe and protected from bumps and, and bruises and scratches and all that kind of cool um, stuff. And I'd seen some really nice covers for the nook, but I hadn't actually spent the money for one. Um, and so when I said, oh yeah, sure, that would be great. I would love a leather cover for my nook. I had absolutely no idea.
idea what I was in for. What I want to do is show you the beautiful finished product. Um, he also made this bag for me. This is I keep my um, uh, flip video camera in this, and it holds my flip video camera and my little tripod that goes with it. But this is what you've got to see. This is what he created for me. This cover is completely perfect to keep my nook in. Let me open it up. Um, kind of show you my little nooky baby right in here. See? Ooh, pretty, huh? Isn't that nice? And so um, I'm going to show you in a little more detail here in a second um, just exactly what it looks like, but is this not the coolest gift ever? I mean, like, ever? And he made this 100% from scratch by hand. Every bit of it is completely hand tooled and textured and um, personalized and and all that kind of cool stuff. So let me just show it to you um, and let you and let you see just how really cool this is. So this is my nook cover, and what I want to do is show you some of the detail on this. Look at the spider web. Um, back in 1996 when I put up my first website somebody coined the phrase the web woman and it stuck and so it's kind of my signature thing is the web woman look at that isn't that beautiful alright and um, what he did for a fastening is really cool um, I'm gonna jiggle the camera here just a second okay so this is the strap that hooks onto the button that opens this out and so if I pull on this and um, just unfasten it and you can see that it just kind of opens out really nicely there's my nook it has um, a place in here um, for um, up here at the top where there's a headphone jack um, there's a place for it there. It's got a, a space here so that when I'm flipping pages in my nook, um, my finger goes right there and I can just, um, all I have to do is tap my finger and um, the pages turn. Um, he made it, you know, generous around the edges so that the edges of this don't get bumped. This is a molded piece of leather right here and this just slips right out I can just pull it out of the nook and then just slip it right in and it slips right into these right into the thing just like that see isn't that cool and then on the back of the nook if I flip this over you can see see the stars um, the stars are significant for me um, for a number of reasons. Number one, I'm a big Trekkie and science fiction fan. Um, and um, number two, um, I actually keep a um, picture of the Hubble Deep Field um, on my desktop um, most of the time to remind me about what an amazing place the universe is. And see, I just go ahead, if I want to close this up, I just put the thing around here. And then I just pull, and it tightens it up. And there it is. And you can see that the edges protect it. It's protected all the way around um, the edge. And um, up here at the top, you can see the hole for the for the audio jack and all of that. Um, this is an amazing, amazing thing. And um, I totally... I totally just absolutely love it. Um, every bit of this, the design is his own design. Um, he figured it out himself and um, carved all of that. This um, is all hand sewn along the edges. And um, it's just, uh, can you tell? I, I really like it. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Is that not the coolest thing you have ever in your life seen? 
I wanted to first of all tell you um, uh, my uncle's name is Robert Cormier and he has um, his own YouTube channel um, YouTube channel address right down here and um, so if you want to go in and actually look at the full videos of all the progress of the various um, stages that this went through um, go there and um, whatnot and also his email address right here okay um, and uh, if you if you wanted to email him uh, everything that he does is custom. He doesn't just kind of throw out a bunch of stuff. So he doesn't have like a website up with a bunch of things on it or anything like that. But he will do custom work for anybody who's looking for it. Now, I doubt seriously that you're going to get some really cool custom thing like what I have by Christmas time. But there are a lot of other gift giving opportunities through the year and now is the time to get your order in for something really special. He'll do Nook covers, Android tablet covers, iPad covers, um, uh, folios, you name it. If, if there's a project that you have the size and dimensions for, he can do it and it's beautiful work and um, I just really suggest that you talk to him because he's awesome and I love him so much and I feel so privileged to have an original Robert Cormier Wiley Dog um, art piece that I can carry with me everywhere I go. Every place I go when I open this up people go oh wow that's really cool where did you get that? And um, every time I look at it, I remember how much he loves me and how much he cares about me. And I think that's the true meaning of a gift is when it really means something to you. When I open up my nook, I remember that my sister loved me enough to buy it for me and make sure that I could do the things that I love, which is to, to read and, and to explore the world um, through reading and when I look at this cover I recognize how much he cares for me for all the time and effort and work and the brilliant artistic creativity that went into this is just awesome so thank you Robert everybody go and look at his channel and um, we'll see you again soon on the web woman